Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Jnoshan, across the nation. And we are here checking out Lies of Pinocchio, aka Lies of P. Now this is on PC, and I was going to plug in a controller, and I was going to take the easy route. But I'm not a bitch. I'm going in, guys. I'm going in balls deep. No controller. Keyboard and mouse. And apparently this game's hard. So we're going to do a little bit of a preview today. And it's Souls-like. So this is why I'm here. This is why I'm checking this beauty out. Can you hear me? Yes. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. It is pretty suicidal doing keyboard and mouse on a Souls game, but uh, we're not afraid of a challenge here on the channel. Or we're stupid. <laughs> I say we, me. It looks amazing already. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over. Here I am. Here I am. Looks uh, a little bit Edward Scissorhands like. He's got a very nice trim. Looks awesome on PC. This is free, by the way, guys. Totally free if you have the Game Pass for PC. And it's absolutely worth it. It came out yesterday. It's also available on Xbox and PlayStation. And I'll explain what's happening. Hotel Crot. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. One adds a lamp. Select upper belt, select lower belt. Use the selected belt item. So we've got T, G, and R. Okay, okay. Hold down to activate the extra bag. Use item is E and one of the arrows. This is going to be hell. Don't be afraid even if you get lost in the fog. The cricket guide will be with you. What? So this is all weapon stuff, is it? Is that the cricket? Oh. You can see why people are saying this feels very much like Bloodborne and Souls like games generally because the atmosphere is exactly the same. The layout's the same. If you look in the top left, well, you can't see because I'm blocking it, but there is a health bar. Stamina bar, you've got the item stuff on the bottom left as well. Quick items. I assume that's your weapons on the bottom right. And what would be your souls is top right. This is very, very familiar layout. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Ooh, path of the cricket, balance, path of the bastard, dexterity, path of the sweeper, strength. So you've got three combat styles to pick from. I'm going to go with balance, I think. Switch weapons tab. Uh, switch to walk in is Z. I don't want to walk. Extra bags E. Yeah, I think that's healing. Lock on. Dash and dodge. We're going to need that. Space. Guard is shift. Well, that's horrible. Guard is shift. And yeah, okay. Lock on is the middle mouse button. This is going to be hell. This is going to be absolute hell. 
But I'm here for it. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Normal attack, special attack, charge. Okay. Tooth the wheel. I can see where this is getting a lot of praise. It's very dark. It's all about Pinocchio, but in the most twisted way. Just checking there is no items. Look at the graphics there, guys. Really impressive. I'd love a remaster of Bloodborne. A lot of people are saying this is just like Bloodborne. Very aggressive playstyle. Similar sort of theme as well with the gothic horror type stuff. Old Victorian settings and enemies. I'm sure we're going to have some fun. Pulse cell. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. Maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will gradually be gradually charged. Okay. So you got to kill enemies to recharge it. Technology recharge. Oh, hello, sir. What's your problem? Let me... Let me show you. Rear dodge. What's a rear dodge? Okay, step back step basically. Nope. Yes. Give me your loot. All your loot. Dim ergo fragment. Don't know what any of this stuff does at the moment, but it's probably all to do with uh, customizing your weapons. Use legion arm. What? You can batter people with your arm. That's intense. They got zapped. Not good. Um, a lot of people enjoying Starfield as well, guys. I'm loving it too. I am playing it offline. May do some streams on it. But it's everywhere at the minute. You can see Starfield anywhere on the internet. So that's why I've not put it on the channel, but <clears throat> it's really, really good. I'm enjoying it. Very few bugs. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. Um, the reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. When you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. I love that. That's the Bloodborne mechanic, where you get your HP back with each successive hit. If a guard succeeds right before hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in staggerable status. Well, I'll be damned. This is going to be hell trying to do this on a keyboard and mouse. Hello, sir. I see you, you chump. What? Jiminy. What do you mean? Let's try it, sorry. It's your problem, jump. Yeah. Can you imagine the boss fights on this? It's not going to be fun, is it? Uh, can we walk? How do we walk? Switch to walk. Be scared now. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't mess with the crew. Don't mess with the crew. Hello, sir. Yeah. The grand exhibition. 
It is pretty freaky because the whole place is full of puppets that have gone crazy. And for those of you that aren't fans of puppets, this will probably freak you out. Passengers note, if anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to stay clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you, even if it's not much. Please survive, anyone. I mean, you're not going to know if I've survived, because you're dead, right? You ain't going to know, bro. Dash. Oh, I missed my chance. Hello, sir. Do you want to go as well? We can have it. Yeah. The weird ticking noise when they die is creepy as well. It's like all their little cogs go out. All their little cogs. Ergo fragment. Anyone know what this does? I'm guessing it's gems or something. This, uh... There's something really nasty down there. I can hear it. Should we go and have a look? Shall we have a little look? Weapon durability. Oh, is that where he uses his arm to grind the weapons? It's pretty tasty. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun, does it? Lock device. There are doors and ladders all through crap that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Yes. That means this is a boss. This is a boss, ladies and gents. We're on the boss already. What more do you want from life than a nice boss? Got to try and. That's a little jumpy button. Experience the future of the world. I'd rather not. Okay. What's my guard again? That one. <laughs> We're going to need it. We're going to need to master these controls pretty quick. I'm going to try and sneak up on this dude, but he is going to punish me. Hello, sir. I'm just here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Um, I'm sorry. Come on, you chump. Ooh, nice. Do you want it? Ooh, nice. Red. Why aren't you healing? Yeah. don't know. You don't know, bro. Oh shit, press the wrong button. Hold for a charged attack. Make me make a a charged attack. Okay. No. No. Santa. 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 Don't be scared. Woo. Yes! Face a staggered enemy. Fatal attack can be performed on staggered enemies. If successful, it can inflict heavy damage. Oh my god. Holy crap. We just finished his ass. Sword toothed wheel. What? That dude got violated. That's the first little mini boss that I've done on a keyboard and mouse as well. I was crazy and I did a bit of Dark Souls before on keyboard and mouse. It was not fun. Right, what do we do now? Um, do we go out? Straight up, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, so there we go. Yeah, sweet. Even the little loading animations like this, opening the doors. Oh my god, here we go. Here comes the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain. Rainy night. You're damn straight, it's a rainy night. Filled with blood. Prepare the stargazer. This is our first checkpoint, I think. Yeah. Fully recover HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. You'll be revived at this point in case of death. Also revives enemies. Of course. Souls game. What'd you expect? This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. <clears throat> what? As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo. Level up. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Yes. All in the health. All in the hell. It's very familiar, guys. Very familiar territory. Use storage. Properly charges Fable. Serious power still confining crap. Chipetto's puppet can absorb or go and turn it into power. So we are Pinocchio, aren't we? I am Pinocchio. Hmm. Very good. Hello, sir. Hold this. Chump. Use Fable Arts. Well, Guardian use Fable. What? Use Handle Fable Arts. So these are like weapon skills, basically. Fable slots and different Fable arts use a different number of slots. Fable charge Fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay. Oh, there's a dog. Hello, dog. Jesus. You hey, piece of shit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Anyone else want to go? Oh shit, he's got a few friends. Yeah, you're done, mate. See you later, sucker. Crap, what's this? Crap times issue 183. Puppet frenzy that paralyzed the city under control. God damn. It is a creepy concept, isn't it, when you think about it? Possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. No quick solution. Puppet frenzy <laughs> resulting in more, more casualties as the city braces for the resurgence of the petrification disease. Oh, that's, that's messed up. Did Look, that, that is a boss waiting to happen. Look at that chump out there. Oh, you will. Didn't see you there. Nice little hidey hidey. Little hidey hidey hidey. Got one guy there. Yeah. You're dead, sir. Thank you. No idea where I'm going. OK. 
Okay, that's a shortcut back into this bit. I see. It does feel very much like Bloodborne. I see why people are reaching out to me saying, Jay, play it. Play it. It's the one. Play it. We've been very blessed with this one, I think. And also we've got um, Lords of the Fallen as well. Which is out in a matter of weeks. Cannot wait. Oh, shit. Oh, you... Should have seen him out there. I should have known. Hello, sir. Oh, your problem is. Don't know what your problem is. But yeah, it should be pretty good, guys. Just a matter of weeks away from it. I've got the time off work. I'm going to be smashing the hell out of it. So stay tuned on the channel. It's going to be fun. It's probably my most anticipated game of the year. This is going to be another one I'm going to be playing. Alongside Baldur's Gate and Starfield. It's just a crazy time for gaming at the minute. There's almost too many games, but it means the channel's busy. Is he facing the other way? Should we try and sneak up on him? Do not turn around. Do not turn around. It's time for me to shove my sword up your dirt hole. Up your dirt hole. Hmm. Ooh, steady on. One at a time, ladies. Yep, we're dead. Cannot open. It's not too bad on keyboard and mouse. I know this is just the opening area, but it's all right. It's not too taxing. Once you get used to the controls, it's like most uh, games really, in it? But get used to the controls, it's all right. I'm just not anticipating that I'm going to do well against bosses. Nice. Yeah, you can get it as well, you gimp. This guy's problem. Wicked. That is the equivalent to the visceral attacks. In Bloodborne and the Souls games. Hello. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Tried a little sneaky, sneaky. You always gotta watch for lurkers. They be lurking. Hmm? What's that about? God, I'll see you later. <laughs> we'll come back to that guy. How do I get the... the sneaky little item that I saw? That way? Guaranteed that guy's following us as well. You just know he wants a piece of my ass. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> Hello there. 
I think we have to go that way. I was hoping there's going to be a little access route to get away from that idiot, but he's going to give us a hard time no matter what. So we might as well face him. Fight me. Fight me. There he is. He's got a massive hammer. Mm, it's going to pan out one or two ways. Um, hello? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a standoff. Want a piece of this, boy? Want a piece of this, boy? Oh, I see. So that grey bar, I think, above my weapon on the bottom right is... Um... Ooh. Is my durability. He's coming. What the hell? Why is it glitching out? What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god, the game's lagging. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please, please. Yeah, you better, you better uh, think about what you've done. Oh my god. Do him, do him. Yes. Damn. Whew. Not fun. He was an asshole. Game proper lagged out then. I don't know if it's supposed to or whether that was part of his moves or what. That's a trap waiting to happen. Look at it. It's a trap. Good thing to do with any Souls games is keep clicking. Oh, there it is. Uh, is keep clicking the lock on when you go into new areas because it highlights enemies, which is fantastic. That's what you want. No sneaky sneaky like this guy. Yeah. Someone shooting ass. You can get it as well, sir. You dickhead. Oh my god. There's another one. That was nuts. I should have guessed, shouldn't I? I should have guessed these things. There's a dog over there. Um. Yeah, sweet. Why is it lagging all of a sudden? Frame rate's terrible. That's that's what's gonna kill me. Nothing else, just that. This is a shortcut. Urgent repair tool. Ooh. So That was pretty nuts. How do we switch to... Uh-huh. 
Ah, oh, for God's sake. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Whew. Don't do that again. Do not do that again. The really good thing is, even when you run out of the health pulse thingies, you can replenish them by attacking enemies. Encourages you to be aggressive. It's pretty good. Oh my god, that's going to end in tragedy. That is going to end in real tragedy. Gonna be in his gun, can't go on his tragedy. When am I Should probably go and level up. That is what we should do. We've got a little shortcut now. Great game though, guys. Very early impressions. It is very good. I love the story. I love the... Yeah, level that up. Damn right. Uh, I love the layout. You've got very basic, dumbed down Souls elements, like your uh, quick item pouches you've got your consumables in there throwing objects your weapons are, what I really like is you can sort of combine weapon elements you can use a handle from a certain weapon put it on the blade of another weapon we're gonna level up our arms which by the looks of things gives us more advanced techniques and moves you've got defensive accessories we can slot into weapons as well amulets different costumes that we can wear we've got gestures as well and your usual collectibles plus you've got like your item management you can put stuff into storage you've got your ergo which is essentially your souls or your um, your blood stuff like from Bloodborne there's Mr. Pinocchio yeah it's all very very similar you've even got your status effects there as well so I imagine at some point we're going to be able to put uh, fire electric blitz or acid on our weapons and create some OP builds But I'm really really enjoying it guys. I hope you are looking to check this one out as well We've got up to level 14 already, which is pretty cool It wasn't too bad on keyboard and mouse, but let's push to the first boss and see how that goes But this one is available completely free on game pass Which is why I'm playing this on PC so you guys are aware of it and you can pick it up right now if you've got the game pass 100% worth it. If it's free, um, you'd be doing yourself a disjustice if you don't play this one. Especially if you're a fan of the Souls games or the RPG sort of genre generally. This is a really cool concept. I want to play on and sort of find out what's happened with Geppetto, why the town's gone crazy. <coughs> it looks like there's some sort of weird stiffness that has inflicted people. Have they turned into puppets as a result or is it just because... Stuff's gone crazy and there's puppets in the world anyway. Is it like a Bioshock, uh, you know, Bioshock type of story? Who knows? But either way, I'm intrigued. I'm going to be doing more of this. This is probably going to tie me over until Lords of the Fallen comes out. If you guys want to see more of this on the channel, let me know in the comments. Reach out. And if so, we'll put up some more live streams and all that sort of jazz as well. This is also available, as I said, on PlayStation, guys. The release date was yesterday. It's now live digitally on the store and various retailers on physical editions as well but the big shout out really is for the game pass because it's 100 percent free which is why and how i'm playing this one now on pc for absolutely zero pounds well worth the investment thank you for checking out the game preview let me know in the comments if you want to see more and i'll see you again in the next one cheers people peace